Louise with you on BBC Radio Wales. Electric car charging stations, solar water heating, external solar lighting and homegrown fruit and veg. They are just some of the reasons that Bryn Bella Guesthouse in Better Sequoid, Snowdonia has been named Green Business of the Year in the uh, Free to Network Business Awards. The owner, Mark Edwards, joins us from our Bangor studio. Hello, Mark. Hello, Louise. Gosh, many congratulations. This is really quite an honour, isn't it? Thank you, yeah. yeah. We do try hard and it's nice to get a bit of recognition now and again. Yes. D- tell me a bit about yourselves and um, how you came to be in the B&B business. Um, well, it's a, it's a partnership really between myself and my wife and we were both uh, uh, working in and around London at the time, um, about 10, 11 years ago. Um, but we were both coming up here on a regular basis uh, to go walking and climbing, as you do in wonderful Snowdonia. Um, and both our jobs were taking us away from home on a regular basis and um, we just decided there's got to be an easier way uh, to earn a living and also enjoy uh, Snowdonia so uh, it was a case of what kind of business can we set up Um, where we are it's either farming or tourism and I'm never going to be a good farmer Mm. Um, so tourism it was and hence the fact we decided on the guest house and what was it like working together? I mean, had you done that previously? Um, funnily enough, yes, we did. Oh, right, um, so you were used to that part of it. Well, I don't think you ever get used to it. It's something <laughs> you have to work at. Um, but no, we, we actually met uh, whilst both working at the uh, what was then the University of Luton. So, yes. Um, and uh, the rest, as they say, is history. OK, so did you have an ambition that um, the, the business and the guest house was going to be um, very environmentally friendly and you were going to have this sort of e- eco-philosophy or did that just happen organically? No, far from it. Um, basically, uh, my wife's an accountant and I come from uh, a financial IT background, so we were both very uh, tight on costs and controls. That's basically what we've always done. Um, so we came... Uh, we, we approached the business on a, a mean, not green basis, um, you know, just cutting down on waste because you know, if you waste in the business, that's just profit going. So um, we we looked very long and hard at all the processes and cut back as much as we could. Um, and then we suddenly realised, well, actually, the the line, the direction we're going in is uh, pretty much along the parallel lines to what sustainability and sustainable tourism is about. Um, and that's when we la- uh, started looking um, into it in, in more detail. Mm. Uh, what kind of things caught your eye? What, what did you decide to do? Well, the first thing, oh, we're, we're on oil where we are yes. as our main heating source. And uh, in my whole adult life, I've never known oil go down. So that was going to be a big problem for us. Um, so we looked at uh, how to do that. And so the first thing we put in was the, the solar thermal for the hot water. Um, which has been a great success, and uh, we we reckon we've cut our oil production down by or consumption, I should say, by about a quarter. Um, and then from there, we went on to other uh, saving ideas like the uh, um, electric, uh, solar electric, um, and uh, and water uh, conservation and reuse of uh, grey water throughout the uh, throughout the uh, the business. Were they expensive to install, all, all these things? Um, at the time when we did it, yes, it's, there's always an expense in, in, uh, involved, but um, they've far paid for themselves by now. Um, it's that initial step. It's uh, almost a leap of faith. Mm. Um, but if you know you're doing the right thing, you will get the right results. So, uh, no, I certainly wouldn't uh, do it any other way. OK, well, Mark, you run the bed and breakfast with your wife, Joan, who gave Hinos Jones, our reporter, a guided tour. Let's hear what happened. We're starting in the car park, Joan. Yeah. One thing that's obvious already is the electric vehicle charging points that you have. Yes, we have two. One is a trickle charge, which is for an overnight charge, and the other one is a fast charge, um, so obviously it charges up in just a few hours. And we have had um, we had a Renault car drive up from um, Liverpool to check to test it because they weren't sure either if it could make uh, the distance. So they they came up overnight, the car charged up. Uh, the next again day they drove around uh, Snowdon, um, they went to Carnarvon Castle to Greenwoods, came back, charged the car overnight, and then went back home again. Well, now I'm looking at the building. It's quite a, a beautiful Victorian building, and. Um, one thing that strikes you straight away, of course, are the solar panels on the roof. 
Yes, we have two. We have one on the front of the building and one on the rear. Uh, they provide hot water for us um, all year round. And the good thing about them is they don't need you know, bright sunshine. So even on a day like today where it's a bit cloudy and misty, they will actually still be providing some hot water. Can we go into the house, maybe have a look at one of the rooms? We can indeed. Okay. Okay, so we're walking up the slate steps now um, to the house and I, I can see you've got some solar lighting. That's correct. The, the steps are all completely lit by solar lights and at the patio area as well these um, lights here are all solar lights. Fantastic. Now we can go inside. It's a bit chilly. <laughs> Through the red door. <laughs> so, very spacious. How many rooms do you have here? We have five letting rooms. Can we have a look at one of them? Okay, let's go upstairs to one. Lovely, so we're going into room number five. Red decor again, you must like the colour red, John. It's such a nice warm colour, it's, it's just so homely. And you've got the huge bay windows here, a couple of chairs, and a big chunky file with um, what seems to be a lot of information. Yes, we have. We provide a lot of information for our guests, both on what we do in terms of green tourism, but there are lots of walks in there, most of which you can either do from the house or we try to promote car-free tourism, so you can actually get a bus from Bettis and do lots of walks as well. You mentioned the garden earlier on. Can we go and have a look at the garden? We can indeed. Now, this is very impressive. I can see how many, several different pots, and they're all full with colourful plants at the moment, Joan. Yes, we grow a lot of things ourselves. We grow strawberries here and tomatoes, which we actually use in the guest house to serve to the guests. But we also have, you know, potatoes and lettuce, and these are all, these hanging baskets are all salads and herbs. Tell us a bit more about these um, containers here. Well, these are 200 litre water butts. Um, we've got, as you can see, there's about eight here. There's more around the corner. Um, these ones are harvesting fresh water from the roof. We use it during the summer to water all these pots and also to water the garden as well. It's a lovely garden. It's quite. Um, it's, it's on a quite a bit of a slope as well. It is, yes. Um, as I say, there's not a lot of soil there, which is why we have a lot of things growing in pots. And I can hear my chicken friends. <laughs> yes. What are they? They're up there. Um, we have 16 chickens. Um, they're all ex-battery hens, so they're all rescued. And, of course, they provide us with fresh eggs every morning for the guests. How many eggs do you get each day? Um, about 14 or 15, which is not bad from 16 chickens. Oh, and they, they all want to be on the radio, I think. I think they do, yes. Well, thank you very much, Joan. Yes, thank You're you. very inspirational tour of, of the house and the garden. And all the best for the future. Thank you very much. That's Joan Edwards giving Llinos Jones a guided tour of Bryn Bella Guest House in Better Sequoid in Snowdonia, named the uh, Green Business of the Year. Joan runs the guest house with her husband, Mark, who's uh, in our banker studio. Um, Mark, I wonder if um, it's a real plus point for visitors um, that, that you have this um, philosophy at the guest house. Do, do you find people coming to you specifically because of your green credentials? We, we get a certain amount of people who... Uh, um, sources for yes. the, the green press um, but for quite a lot of them it's it's a pleasant surprise mm. um, we, we always uh, our ethos is quite simply it's sustainability with quality so yes. we don't want anything that's going to uh, um, you know sort of up, you know, upset the, uh, the, the the guest experience but when they then see what we can do in a, a sustainable lifestyle but still maintain the quality, it comes as a pleasant surprise. So it's, it's quite good from our point of view to try and enlighten people uh, yeah, during I, their stay. I was wondering, actually, do, do visitors buy into it? You know, do they enjoy the, um, the, the, the experience when they're there? Well, we certainly have good reviews on uh, on places like TripAdvisor yes. and we have a high percentage of returning customers so we must be doing something right. Mm. And, and what about um, the, the uh, you have the um, the uh, charging point don't you for the, uh, yes, for the electric do. cars. Do you, do you have an electric car yourself? Ironically no. Um, <laughs> it, if, it's a funny how uh, what difference 12 months make. Um, we got a, a new car last year and it was uh, as environmental eco-friendly uh, as possibly we could yes. get at that time. Um, but it, it, the charging points are a real chicken and egg situation because without the charging points, no one's going to come mm. in an electric car. Without an electric car, no one's going to put a charging point <laughs> in. So we took a stance and um, we were contacted by 
um, zero carbon world who are trying to promote uh, charging uh, points for electric cars to get them back out there into uh, you know outside of the city just prove that they are a viable source of uh, transportation so we've we've done that and um, we've made uh, a little promo film about that it's up on youtube um, very happy and we've worked in conjunction uh, uh, with Renault in Liverpool and uh, it has proved to be um, quite an interesting point. Mark, many congratulations on Thank the award. Um, please pass on my congratulations too to Joan, your wife, um, and uh, long may the success last. Uh, keep in touch. It'd be lovely to hear from you in the future to find out how you're doing. The uh, Bryn Bella Guesthouse in Betters Accoyd is has been named Green Business of the Year.